morning, everyone. I am Chris, and today we are doing a 20-minute shoulder shredder, which you are going to feel so strong after doing. Okay, so all you need today are dumbbells. This workout is going to be all standing, and I'm also going to show you how you can do uh, most of these moves seated. So if you can't stand for any reason or like you find that your form is off when you're standing, I will absolutely give you the seated option, okay? And because you're seated doesn't make it less of a workout. Sometimes it actually makes it uh, more challenging, especially if you tend to use form, uh, the incorrect form. So let me just explain that. So maybe you're doing front raises, but you tend to do this. And if you're seated, you can sit a little taller, right? And do the move edge of the chair here where you're not using, you know, the, the arch of your back. Okay. So that's just some options I'm going to give you today. It's going to be quick. We're going to warm up very quickly, just going through each move without weight. And then we are going to add the weight to it. Each move is going to be done for 45 seconds. And there are one, two, three, four, five moves total. Okay. DJ Kevin Kev in the house. How about we warm it up? Yeah. Okay. Just roll them back. Roll them back. Roll them back. Good. All right. Back. Good and back again back nice good okay keep going with these back nice now let's just shrug we're gonna shrug up down up down ronnie in the house oh oh what's in your shoe kev you don't even know there's a show going on over here all the time too give me eight and seven and six five five dollar pants from the thrift store i love them and stop now hands in front Okay, hands here. Imagine your body's up against a wall, and you're gonna pull your elbows up, hands up, right to your chest. Now notice I'm not like this. Notice my wrists aren't like this, okay? So you're gonna go down. You're gonna just row up, down, up. Okay, so we're warming up with the upright row to show you lift up and down. Good, what are you doing here? You're working your shoulders. You're pulling your shoulder blades back just a little bit. You're not doing this. Okay, you're not like a little kid looking out the window for Santa on Christmas Eve, right? You going, you going up, and then, what was that a squirrel? You going up and down, Kendra. Kendra and I were messaging last night about ozone and turbo. Good, keep going. Uh, nice. Okay. Now next move, arms out to the side. Okay, we're just warming each move up. Arms out to the side. Look at my arms are slightly bent. Okay, they're not locked out. Slightly bent. ISO, you're gonna go right arm down, left arm down. So this is ISO, yeah? What are you looking at? Kev is very, has, is in snow day mode. Keep going, okay, good. So arm comes down, but you don't go with it. Okay, and down, good, but we're open. <laughs> All right, now, hold it up, good. Take the hands in, hands here, okay? So your elbows are slightly in front of you. We're gonna do an Arnold press. You're gonna go up, up, and down. Now, watch this, watch my arms here. I can do this without contracting my muscles at all, or I can contract my muscles. Do you see the difference? Watch. Okay, or watch the muscles contract. I could do that even without weight, yeah? Good, get out of your neck, right, good. And in, so you're turning it up, good. And you can do these at the pace that you need to when we get there, up, up and down, perfect. Now take your hands down. We're gonna go up, straight, and down, straight. Okay, so this is gonna be a front raise. You're not doing this. Okay, so your elbows are slightly bent. If this move is too much for your shoulders, you could do one and then the other, okay? So we're just warming up your arms, going through the motions, okay? Up, now. Both arms in front, everybody. Here we go, okay, look. You're gonna go, open and close, okay? Now open and close, okay? This is your reverse fly in a standing position. Now, keep this move going. Bring your right foot back, right foot back. Arms open, hold it. From there, slightly tip forward at your hips. Bring your hands back together. Now you shouldn't have changed what you're doing. You're not in your neck, right? So same move in this position, okay? If you want it to be harder, you can go a little bit more parallel to the floor with your upper back, but you don't want to be here. You don't want to be rounding here. That's why I have your tip over, okay? So here, yes, yes? Okay, circle them out, circle them out. Jonathan 
rolling is on the schedule next week for you, buddy. <laughs> Good. Okay, nice. Hands down, drop and up and drop and up. Good. Nice. Okay, now I'm going to pull out my dumbbells. All right. I'm going to use 15 pounds for my upright row. One in 15 in each hand. Now, that does not mean that's what you have to use. When I started, I was probably using three pounds. Hands close to your body. We're going to go for 45 seconds. You're going to go up, up, and down. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready, Kev? He's ready. Here we go. Take it up. Uh, hey, Donna. How you doing over there, Miss Donna? Good. Okay. Right. Listen. Up. Elbows up. Remember, just like we did in the warm-up. Now, if the weight makes you lose form, you got to go lighter, right? Good. And down. Thanks, Donna. Five bucks. They're from Old Navy, though, but they were $5 at the, at the Goodwill. You know me, Donna. Go on. <laughs> Good. Nastia and I went to the Goodwill a couple months ago, and we, we made out on leggings that day. Whew. And down. Good. Keep going. Body. Hands are close to the body. Good. Keep going. And up. Up. Down. Again. Up. Hey, Vicky. And stop. Nice. Put them down. Okay. I'm going to my eight pounds for this next move. Now, you can do this seated if you like. Arms out. Okay. You're going to go right arm down. Up. Other arm down and up. This is hard because it's isometric. You ready? Here we go. And down. Now, if you're using momentum, okay, keep going. Sit on the edge of a chair if you want to. Same thing, bring it down and up. That might just help keep your back a little bit straighter. Good. I know, Donna. Donna, we need to go one day. What do you say? <laughs> when the snow clears, let's go to the Goodwill. Come on. Nice, good. Keep those arms soft, right? Good. So when I say that, I mean your elbows are soft. All right. Now, if you're fine, if your wrists are bent, that's not good. Lighten up. If you can't, I don't mean lighten up in general, but if you need to, you do. Keep going, go on. And down. Whew. Good. <laughs> Stop. Vanessa. <laughs> All right. For my Arnold press, I'm going back to my 15. Okay. Now, as you get through each round of these, you could go a little lighter or a little heavier as you need to. Okay. So you're gonna go up and then back down. Ready? Here we go. So when you come back down, you're not bringing your arms here. Okay, they're slightly in front of you. You're twisting. If you can't do an overhead press, you can go back to alternating front raises. Okay, keep going. Come on. Good. Good. Awesome. Oh, so there's 280 on today. I guess we got some snow, <laughs> some snow bunnies. Keep going. There, I'm telling you, there's a show going on here. You go, Kevin is doing, Kevin's over there like twisting and stretching. Good. Keep going. Don't let yourself run forward. And again, you can do this seated if you need to. And stop. Woo! All right. I'm going back to my front raise. Now I'm going to the front raise. If it's too much to do one at a time, or we're too much to do both at the same time, do two. But we're gonna go slow. Two up, two down. Here we go. Up and down. Good. Up. Okay, good, keep going. Now, this also is a move that if you're sitting on the edge of the chair, it forces you to sit taller. But you might find, okay, I find that it's harder, and that maybe I need to go lighter but I'm gonna push it out because I'm not losing form. And I don't feel it where I'm not supposed to, right? So I'm still feeling my shoulders. Good. And let me explain to you, I've said this before. Shoulders, delts. When you ask someone to rub your shoulders, a lot of times you mean here. This is your neck and your upper back, okay? So, just now that you know, your deltoids. Keep going. <laughs> Kevin is strangely staring at me. And stop, okay. Last move, reverse fly. I like to go lighter on this. I'm actually gonna use these beautiful blue six, tab, six pound dumbbells that uh, Audrey gave me, but I have my fives just waiting in case. Bend forward, one foot back. You're gonna go out to the side and down. Are you ready? Oh, the answer is yes, of course. Ready? Here we go, Karen. And up and down. Holy Sheila. 
It's negative 25 degrees where you are? Okay, now remember, you're here, right? You're doing this. When you're in the bent over position, if that pulls into your neck, you need to do this very light, okay? Or without weight until you can get the movement. What that means is that you're rounding forward and you're using your neck to lift. Good. Up and down. So we're working the back of your shoulders, back of the deltoids, rear delts they're called. Come on. Good. One more. And stop. Shake it out. You're doing everything again. Happy dance. Because you want to do it again, right? Okay. <laughs> what is wrong with me? All right, you ready? Happy dance. Two up, two down. You should see Louis' happy dance if he'll come down. Oh, I love Louis. Oh, he's by the fire. Are right, you ready? Two up, two down, 45. Here we go. And up, up, and down. Good. Up. Nice. And again, make sure <laughs> that your elbows, okay, are leading. You're not leading with your wrists. <laughs> Vanessa, Cape Town Vanessa says, where are you, Sheila? Can I come? Vanessa, I'm looking out the window right now. Snow coming down. It's beautiful, actually. Maybe I'll do a video in it later with Lou. With my, I'll do a video in it later for Vanessa with my waterproof pants on. Good. <laughs> Good. Come on. Good. <laughs> sweaty. I'll be sweaty. Come on. And up. Ooh. And pull them down. All right. I'm going to lighten up for that side raise because I know that I'm going to lose form on it. Arms to the side. Ready? Here we go. Down. Up. Down. Up. Good. Good. Awesome. Whew. So I hate to bring it up again, Kendra, but I can't help it. So, <laughs> and anybody else who knew what I was talking about yesterday with ozone and turbo, I can't. I can't. Good. Keep going. Uh, one of the best scenes in that movie. Hey, Amanda. Amanda Pfeiffer. <sighs> Good. Is in part two, Electric Boogaloo, when there's a really bad fill-in for Nitro when he falls down the stairs. And he's like a little guy. And the guy that they have as his stunt double is this huge guy. Goes rolling down the steps and you're like, that's clearly not him. <laughs> oh, the budget for Electric Boogaloo. End stop. I don't think it was very good. That's breaking too, for those of you who don't know. Okay, Arnold Press. Uh, Arnold Press. That's for Kendra. <laughs> Ozone. Ready? Arnold Press 45. Here we go. Up. Two newbies here. Asheville. Woohoo! Yay. Good. Kathy Campbell. Good. Joyce. Joyce. Monica. Good. Paula Steffi. Tara's in the house today. Good. Jackie G. Come on, let's go, let's go. <sighs> Keep going. Oh yeah. Now if you go in heavy enough, two rounds of this is gonna be enough. If you're kinda like, well, I don't think that I did enough, you can always do third round. Yeah? Yeah? You're like, nah, good. We are gonna do a third round. Uh-oh. And stop. Good, put it down. No. You'll see what happens. Okay, front raise. Standing or side. Okay. Are you ready? <laughs> Here we go. And what is wrong with me today? Good. Uh, I'm mentally preparing to be stuck in the house all day. Good. <laughs> down. Good. And up. And down. Good. And up. And down. Awesome. Again, if it's too much, maybe one at a time. That's a nice way to get stronger, right? Uh, I love Kelly M. That's my girl. <laughs> and down. Good. Good. Up. Keep going. Lifting. Nice. Good. Don't let your body start to round forward. You want to keep it strong and straight. By the way, if you're doing my workouts not live, <laughs> I'm talking to a live crew of people, almost 290 people. And stop. Woo. Oh, yeah. You got that reverse fly. Okay. Another way you could do the reverse fly is if you have bands with handles. You can do it here if that helps you. Okay. Focus, control, one foot back. All right, Jenna, you ready? Two 
two and two, let's go. Up, up, and down. Yeah, two and two, truck, truck, not truck. <laughs> Again, and up, but down. Whew, good, stay with it, <laughs> stay with it. And let me just show you that option. Keep going. If you have one of these bands, you bring it so there's no droop in the center, palms down, and you go back here. And you'll see how that works here, okay? Without that hip forward, is a little less likely to do that, okay? So keep going, keep going. Just giving you some options if you need them. Down, again. Uh, thanks, Joyce. Whew, come on. And stop. We have time for a third round. Now, <laughs> how much time do we have? Grab a quick drink. Oh, we got plenty of time. We got time for a third round. Okay, are you ready? You are. <laughs> Shake it out. Shake it out. All right, we're going back to upright row. Notice your weight. How did it feel? Can you go heavier? Can you go lighter? Did you challenge yourself? Okay. The challenge is that it is hard to do those last few reps. Okay. The challenge is not to be in pain. Are you ready? Are you ready? 45, two up, two down. Let's go. Up. All right. Let's go, Vanessa. Up. I got a text from Nasty of the neighbor this morning. <laughs> there, is, there is upper body workout happening at the top of my driveway. Good. <laughs> Meaning she's shoveling, right? <laughs> and Amanda's like, fun fact, Amanda doesn't shovel. <laughs> yeah, we knew that. <laughs> fun fact, Nasty does. <laughs> good, good, nice. Keep going. Elbows lead. Nice, keep going. Again, you're not bending your wrist. Pull up, up. You can do this, everybody. Let's go, Melinda, Marty, Christina, whoo, Janet in the house. I feel, oh, yeah, Janet. And stop, I was like, Janet, I wasn't supposed to see you this morning. I assume your the appointment was canceled. If you said that, I'm sorry, I can't see all the comments. Okay, you ready? We're going ISO down, ready? Here we go, I, I lightened up on this one so I can keep my form. Now, the other thing you can do here if you have trouble with this, is to work on going up and down. Okay, work on going up and down. Because this ISO, and what I mean by ISO is isometric. That means holding a muscle here in a contracted position rather than going in and out of the contraction. Keep going, keep going. Good. Woo, let's go. Hey, Bobby. Sarah. You can do it. Oh, almost there. And stop. Oh, dear Lord. Okay, I'm gonna do this, this Arnold press. I'm gonna do it seated. You don't have to. I'm gonna do it seated. Give you that option. Be flat on the floor if you're doing it seated. You don't have to. You're on the edge of your chair, not leaning back. You're ready if you're doing it this way. Here we go. Uh, now, are these getting too much? If they are, drop the weights. Don't, don't drop the weights, keep the weight. And do one arm at a time if you need to, okay? Everybody feeling good? Nobody's shoveling right now, right? Good. Oh, good, Janet. What's that? <laughs> good, good. You know what's super fluffy, Kendra? Blue. Come on. Ah. Oh. Keep going. Keep going. Good. You got this. Push. You can go through it. You can do it. You can do it. And oh, stop. Whew. Front raise. Are you ready? You are. I'm going to my eights. Okay. Ready. And. Four, three, two, and two. Up, up, down. Again, come on. Good. Does anybody feel their shoulders? Maybe a little bit? Good, and down. Keep going. Yes? <laughs> there needs to be a Kevin Cam, there really does, because <laughs> there would just be a whole other channel of what Kevin is doing. I'd have to blur out your face so that you <laughs> That would be funny, actually. Keep going. Uh, <laughs> to me, it would be. Woo! 
You're, you think it's easier in the chair, Jim? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> what? Yeah. Well, it's easier to keep control. And stop. Stop. So it's easier to keep control. So you got a nice, strong core, Jim. All right, you ready? Last set of those reverse flies. Here we go. Take them back. Back. Out. All right, this is it, guys. Up. And down. Awesome. Lift it out to the side. And down. Now listen. Listen, keep going. This routine is going to have a very, very quick stretch to it. Okay? If you need more of a stretch, search my channel for upper body stretch. There's tons of them. Okay? If you're going to come back for hit, we have a hit workout after this. Jump off, jump back in for a 20 minute hit on Friday. <laughs> come on. And it's a no repeat, no equipment, no excuses. Yeah, come on, you're almost there, you're almost there. Finish it up. Come on, Jenna. <laughs> and stop. Whew, awesome, hold it right there. Hold it right there. Ha. Ah, good. <laughs> hold it. Good. Switch. Does it matter if you hold your palms down rather than hammer for the front raise? Uh, well, it, yeah, it works the muscles in a different way. Also, when, you're, when your palms are down, okay, in that front raise, there's more likelihood that you're gonna do this rather in this position, okay? You could do them down, it works the muscles a little different, but it's a little more likely that you'll round forward. Okay, hands behind the head, sorry, behind the back, stretch it out. Whew, good question, Michelle. Holy crab, and up, other side, hold it right there. Nice. All right, everybody. Up, big breath in. Exhale, shake it out. Shake it out. <laughs> Let it go, Jim, come on. All right, listen, everybody. If you are doing it in the after party, thank you so much. Leave a comment, subscribe, go to my website, cdorderfitness.com, and sign up for my email list. I will see you guys for the next one. Bye.